what you doing today? We are going out exploring at Bryce Canyon. Woohoo! Check it out. Just going down an 8% grade at Bryce Canyon, right off Highway 12. This is just east of the main entrance to Bryce Canyon. Man, look at all that up there. Now, Bryce Canyon is actually still closed. We're just doing a roundabout way That's today. That's right. It's opening up May 1st, so I was told. So we got three days, so we got the lowdown from the local people that the canyon was supposed to already be open and today. was supposed to open today, and uh, they're keeping it closed for a little bit. So hopefully in a couple more days, we'll be able to show you some more stuff from some of the viewpoints because there's some beautiful viewpoints in there. Oh, there he is. But check it all out here. This is the backside of Bryce Canyon. We're going to try to go all the way down around over to there and look at it from the east side because we've never been this way. Right. So And then go, we're going to go to um, Kodachrome. Kodachrome. Going to Kodachrome State Park next. So it's we'll open, show you actually. that. Yep, it is. That's so, on Shirley's bucket list from following the Yellow Brick Road. So virus or no virus, we're doing exactly what we wanted to do this year. That's it was right. all depending on weather. Uh, so, so far, there's nothing that we wanted to do that we haven't done yet. And that will, of course, Bryce Canyon, but it's going to be open. So now, once that uh, we do that, and hopefully it'll warm up, we'll head to the Tetons, hopefully. It'll start warming up. up in, yes, that's going to be beautiful. And then, uh, good Lord willing, Yosemite will open up, and we'll go through there. Yep. So we're having a good time. Hope you all enjoying the videos. Make sure you like comment and subscribe yeah and, and share hey share it to facebook or something go ahead we want everybody to see what's going on out there we're trying to keep these pretty real time so if you uh feel like you need to get out and, and get going or want to go we're going to let you know what's open and what's closed yeah because today's april 27th 27th or 28th 28th i'm sorry yeah it's going yeah. by fun beautiful night last night slept oh, fantastic so dark yep we were in the middle of, of nowhere on a great uh uh, four service road but we're having a ball so glad you come along with us <laughs> I must have lost my hat hang on babe <laughs> all right here we are at Crotacomb Basin State Park right outside of Bryce Canyon which Bryce Canyon's over there so there's a nice little state park here keep an eye on this video we'll go through the whole park and show you everything show you the campgrounds primitive full hookups so stay tuned we are in Crotacomb State Park here in Utah. Oh, probably about 20, 30 minute drive from um, Bryce, east on 20. And we thought we'd come in here and check it out. It was $10 to get in. They got a bunch of little camping spots that you can go. But we're gonna go down here and try to learn a little bit of the different plants that are here in the canyon. Big sagebrush, we didn't know what that was. We were trying to figure that out. And then some of the critters that are out here. So it's got a nice little trail, half a mile paved trail um, that anybody can go. It's ADA approved. So we're going to go down here and check that out. And they are real stringent on staying on trails and not getting off because they say you can really ruin all the, the ground of the way it's made infrastructure. So the ladies are down there checking it out, and they're supposed to have a bunch of signs trying to tell you what's what. I always like these to learn because you go in different areas and you just don't know what this is. Prickly pear cactus. There's probably him right over there. And they have some pretty blooms on them too. Isn't that, but isn't that, isn't that cool, all the sandstone and how the rock and everything, the hoodoos up there. When they got the crust on the top of the rocks up there, that helps prevent the rain and everything from making all that go away. It's like a cap. It's like a hot fudge sundae when it gets crusted up. Mm, hot fudge sundae. <laughs> Did you see some out here, Kim? <laughs> so what do you think of this area? I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's very pretty. It doesn't even get your hands dirty like on. I, mean, I would have thought that you would have got dirty, but yep. you don't. Well, there's probably some areas that the 
The almost, sandstone ends up being like that, you know. It almost feels like concrete. But it looks like it'd just be so soft where you could just... So, babe, aren't we doing exactly what we want to do this year? Get out and hike? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just great that we can do this. Mm -hmm. This is really, really nice. It's beautiful back up in here. How'd you ever even find this, so? Oh, I've been looking at places to travel. Here's another little area here. Let's see what this sign says, what this tells us. A pinion pine. Pinion pine. So, it is in the Jupiter forest. So, these are our Jupiter, but they're called pinion pines. Oh, so, so they are our Jupiter. Okay. Right. I know they look like a Jupiter. Yeah. Jupiter or Juniper? Oh, maybe Juniper, yeah. Well, down in Louisiana, it's Jupiter. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Do we need to put subtitles on? <laughs> Kim's talking. That's right. Man, grab your kids and get out of the house. Go camp and go RV and narrow leaf yucca. Look at it, it goes way so up there. So those are yuccas. See all the pods on the ground? Yeah. It done bloomed and did its thing. So those ones that had the red ones coming out of it were, are a type of yucca. I bet that Deb was asking what the names of them were. There was a Vicky and Bernie's yard. Could be. Look, they got little places you can sit down if you wanted to. Take a little rest. Brown leaf buffalo berry. That'd be that right there. Oh, okay. Hmm. I guess it's not time for it to bloom or anything right now. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Wow. It's beautiful. Check out all the little holes that have been washed out with the deposits in there that were weaker than the stone around it. But it's amazing. It doesn't look like any of the other rocks. I know. It's a different color. This is a great state park. Crotacone State Park. I'm glad we got in. Ten dollars a car load. I think it's 35 hours. For full hookups to camp. Full hookups to camp. We haven't hit that campground yet. Been some primitive ones. They're small. Works good for maybe like a little Class C vans, tents and stuff like that. The first campgrounds we, we've came to. Well, those are um, your your sites that don't have any hookups. Those are, those are 25 a night. Yeah, but they're small. So you're not going to get a big rig in there. You're not even going to no, get a 30-foot no. rig in there. Some of them you may be able to. I never saw a size well, a maximum on yeah. the sign up there in the front, though. So I don't know what the limit is. So we'll see what these other ones have down here. But see, that's the stuff like when you go to arches and stuff, you climb right on top of those rocks there going up to the arches. Dead trees, more than just an interesting subject in the desert photography photograph, dead trees are actually an important component of the desert ecosystem. You can pause it there if you'd like and read the rest of it. Woodpeckers and other things, love them. They're really kind of cool though. So here's your full service hookup at this campground. That's beautiful. That one's H1 right there. Got your feeders out. Number 26, pull through sites, back in sites. Got water there. So there you go. Pretty good size. You can get some good size rigs in there, people. Basin Campground. Man, so just take a look. We're up here at a scenic view area. Got some billboards up here we're going to read. Bobcats, rattlesnakes. What you got, babe? Bobcats, 
hatch and rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes. Gray fox. I got that trail's closed. Scorpions, jackrabbit, rock oh. squirrel. Never heard of that. And coyotes. Yeah, a lot of those you'll never see, huh? I hope. Pretty cool. I like to hike. I can kind of tell you to learn all this. I do. I like to hike. And the birds. You got the common raven. The scrub jay. Cliff swallow. The golden eagle. And the western kingbird. And then there you got the canyon wren. Pretty cool. We got the truck, taking the ladies out for Darrell's tours. Look at that one right there. Very nice. So this loop here is primitive, no hookups. So these are real small here. We've seen some class C's that can move probably what, 20, 20 feet up. This is a nice one. It's a small fit What number spot is that? Um, I'm not is sure. Show? I'm... But there's a nice little fifth wheel on that one. This one's 15, so it's probably 16 maybe. No, there's 16, so maybe it's 14. 14. So you can get some stuff in here. You just have to look on their website and check them out. Handicap spots. So if you're looking for those, number 18. They got trash service, restrooms, firewood, dishwashing station. So man, come on, this is a great state park, y'all. All right, back into the electrical hookup sites. So there's about a what, 26 foot. Class C. So there's your full hookups. Yeah, so, you know, do your new diligence. You can get in here. You can hook up. Now, the only thing that I have to see is that Oh, do they? So they are sewer and everything. So there's also horseback riding down here. So you can take the kids out on the trail. And one thing you need to remember out here, Kim, is what? There's no cell phone signal. Oh yeah, there's none. Nothing. None. Nothing. I think there's Wi-Fi at at the ranger station. Oh no, thank you. But uh, have a good day. There's probably uh, I think there's Wi-Fi down here at the ranger station. We'll check on the way out. No, we had none there either. Well, that guy was talking on his phone. Oh, Wi-Fi. I got you. Mom. So. But we're on our way out. Protocol nice State Park. All right, so we just stopped there at the entrance, and they do have Wi-Fi there. So if you need to send an email or probably contact somebody, maybe Skype or I don't know, some of you kids probably can figure it out <laughs> how you can do video chat or whatever. I don't know. But hey, what do you think? Everybody, was that a great trip? That was a yeah, fantastic was a trip. trip. Thank you, Shirley. Shirley's well, been wanting to come here for yeah. years and years, so we finally made it. So onward, now, let's go get something to eat. Yes. So we can find some place that's open to get something to eat. Yep. Onward bound.